Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the protections against the over voltages. So let's start one by one, which the point I have listed here. So if we read the first point, that is the basic principle, that basic principle of the over voltages protection is same in the DC system as in the AC system. So it is going to uh, say that the over voltages protection schemes, what we are uh, actually using in the AC system, it is kind of using in the DC system that is in the HVDC system, but it is in the kind of advanced version of that. Now, if we talk about the second point that is saying the over voltages stresses. So if there is over voltage conditions, so that maybe a condition arises due to that that is a stresses and that is stresses in the equipment may cause a damage to the system with non self restoring so it is not uh, self restoring that time so must be limited that must be limited at all the times of providing the surge arrest arresters now the protection level of the arresters if we talk about the protection level of the arresters that must be lower that must be lower than the breakdown voltage of the insulations so if we talk about the insulation so always it will have the breakdown strength and uh, if we are selecting the arrester so arrester is kind of the protective device so if we are taking the protective device so i can write the arrester is kind of your protective device protective device so it's a protection level or you can say the insulation coordination if you have studied about the insulation coordination then the protection level of the arresters must be lower it must be low if i compare to the breakdown voltage of the insulations so that is all about this point now the self restoring insulations such as the air may be allowed to the breakdown where there is no danger to the safety of the personnel so it is specifying that if we do not want to any uh, danger to the any person which is operating here or manually operating here so we are generally taking the advantages of the air which is actually the self restoring insulations okay so that breakdown which may be allowed to the breakdown where there is no danger to the safety of the person now the operation of the surge arresters operation of the surge arresters and the flashover of the air insulation must not be frequent that must not be frequent because uh, if it is uh, if it is kind of fast operation okay so at that time it may be uh, difficult to detect for the device so operation of the surge arresters so whatever the surge arresters are operating okay so that may be surge arresters or you can say the flashover of the air insulation must not be frequent that should not be a fast operative the frequent discharges of the arresters may damage to the your system or uh, this implies that the protective level of the arresters must be higher than the maximum operating voltage in the system so what is that if you have studied about the insulation coordination so that is kind of this this waveform so this is actually a protective devices this this waveform is for the protective devices and this waveform is actually denoting for your uh, the equipments which are to be protected here this is in the time which is in the microseconds and it is in the kilovolt your you can say the peak value of the stresses so this is the uh, representation of the insulation coordinations so i hope you have studied about that this implies that the protective level of the arresters okay that must be higher that must be higher than the maximum operating voltage in the system so that may that may be more as compared to the operating voltages in the system so that it uh, uh, it can easily detect the fault conditions and also the insulations can be maintained there so that no damage to the equipments further there must be proper coordination of the insulations so there may be a proper coordination of the insulations and the over voltage protections in the different parts of the systems which are taking into account the characteristics of the insulations so that is all about that point now 
the over voltage generator on the ac side so whatever the over voltage is uh, caused by if it is generated on the ac side if it is generated on the ac side that should be limited by the arresters on the ac side so if it is generated if the over voltage is generated on the ac side so obviously it is going to be limited or uh, can be permanently removed by the arresters which are actually connected on the ac side now the over voltage is generated on the dc side now we are talking about uh, the uh, the dc side that must be limited by the dc line and also the dc bus and also the neutral bus arresters so as same as uh, we are operating for the ac side now we are operating for the dc side now the critical components such as the walls okay so these are the main critical components which are generally uh, uh, generally may be harmed or generally damaged if uh, a small or you can say the sensitive equipments these are so if there is any uh, condition of the faults that may be harmed or that may be damaged uh, easily so these are kind of the critical components and are directly protected directly protected by the arresters connected close to the components so these are kind of the so these should be protected as first if we are considering the other equipments so these are protected by the arresters so these arresters are going to protect the walls and where these arresters are going to be connected these are actually close to those components so i hope you have understood uh, all about uh, this lecture thank you so much